My TIG welder is broken. My problem was the arc on this thing. It was, I was had no adjustability. I would strike up an arc and it would just go straight to full amperage. Like there was no, no ability to, uh, to fine tune the amperage via the foot pedal, right? So if you turn my machine on, you can see the readout right here. I've got it set to 70 amps right now. Right now, if you strike up an arm. You can see the amperage does not adjust. It doesn't go down to a low number at all. But this is applicable to any TIG welder, really. My problem was the foot pedal. So I took the foot pedal apart, and I found inside the foot pedal, we've got a switch. Down here, you can see that little red button there and you can hear it click. So when you put your foot on the pedal, it opens up that switch and allows the circuit to go through or whatever, right? Then over here, you can see we've got this little potentiometer thing that varies the amperage. That's supposed to vary the amperage. And so you can test these things. On mine, it happens to be set up where I have to take these little screws off and take this little plate off of here first and then I can get these other screws down here off and get to the potentiometer and then I can test that. And you can also do the same thing and test it over here on the other end, the wire where it plugs into the actual machine. You can test it here as well. Gotta take stuff apart here first so we can get to the wires. Take this guy out first. And this other part. All right, now you can see on mine, this is our potentiometer, the back side of it. We've got two wires here, a green and a blue, and then a black on the bottom. Other pedals are gonna vary. But if we test those wires, right, we pull out our ohm meter, our voltmeter, and we set it to ohms, and we've got point L, that means like infinite. We set that there, and we go and test these wires go between the green and the blue, and then I'm gonna be operating this potentiometer, sliding this thing up and down. It reads 10.5 on one end, and zero on the other end. And if I switch to the green and the black, 10.5 on one end, and zero on the other end, the potentiometer works, that's what it should be doing. The switch we can also test. We've only got two wires on mine, I'm gonna so I hook this up, up between those two wires at zero, and if I hit the switch or close the switch, it goes to 12. So that is working, it's doing what it should. So it's not here, right? If we go to the other end, we go to the other end of our switch, right? And I had to take this, this little guy here, it goes on the end here, I had to undo a couple bolts and slide this back. Now we have the same color code is up here, so I can tell you can see here, our green and blue, green and blue is up here, and then the black, there's only one black wire down in the foot pedal, and there's only one black wire up here on our, where it connects to the machine. All right, I'm gonna start with the green and blue, test those first. All right, so you can see it's reading, switch it, it's doing what it's supposed to. Green and blue are working. I'm gonna go check the black one. It's at infinite. Switch my switch, infinite, infinite. Nothing is happening there. It's like there's a short. That means there's a short. Actually, this means there's an open loop in our system and there's no continuity between the positive and negative probes on our multimeter, meaning something is disconnected somewhere between those two probes. So we now know in the black wire, there's a short somewhere between this switch here and our connection here, there's a short in our line. Now I go ahead and start working my fingers down through this line and looking for stuff. All right, so where we are. So here we go. So now I found a little cut in my line. And I'm willing to bet if we open this thing up, that, that is the, there's, I can see there's a little wire that's cut in there. I can see a little copper piece in there of a cut wire. I bet if we open this up, it's gonna be that black wire, and if we go in there and piece that back together, we'll have a working welder again. 
and I am super stoked about saving some money. So yeah, clearly at some point I nicked this with like a grinder or something, hit this, and we cut it, maybe dragging this on the floor. It's close to the pedal, so maybe it got caught on something and it just I ripped right through this somehow. I don't know, but we'll go ahead and cut this open. Let's see what we can see. Sure enough, it is indeed the black wire that is cut. Look at that. That guy right there. All right, I've made my repair, and now we're gonna close everything up. We're gonna put some tape around this and then tape the whole thing. All right, everything is reassembled. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine back on and we'll see. Here's our amp readout. We'll see if it varies this time. All right, so well, mine turned out to be a cut wire and that's pretty simple. I'm hoping the techniques, procedures, etc., in this video help you out and help you figure out your problem with your foot pedal. Definitely start with the foot pedal first if you're not getting an arc variation or you're having trouble initiating arc, that sort of thing. Start with the foot pedal, check that out, go from there. Thanks for watching.